good afternoon everybody it is tuesday november 14th 2023 it is 4 09 in the afternoon or the evening called the evening 4 10 my phone says that it's 4 10 Okay, so what I've got for you for this video is Crown of Midnight. Chapter A Throne of A Throne of Glass novel. Chapter one. And this chapter is really, 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 really short. So this is the only video that's gonna be on it. Okay, so chapter one. The shutters swinging in the storm winds were the only sign of her entry. No one had noticed her scaling the garden wall of the darkened manor house, and with the thunder and the gusting wind off the nearby sea, no one heard her as she shimmied up the drain pipe, swung onto the window sill, and slithered into the second floor hallway. The king's champion pressed herself into an alcove at the thud of an approaching of approaching steps. Concealed beneath a black mask and hood, she willed herself to melt into the shadows, to become nothing more than a slip of darkness. A servant girl trudged past to the open window, grumbling as she latched it shut. Seconds later, she disappeared down the stairwell at the other end of the hall. The girl hadn't noticed the wet footprints on the floorboard. Lightning flashed, illuminating the hallway. The assassin took a long breath. Going over the plans she'd painstakingly memorized in the three days she'd been watching the manor house, on the outskirts of Bellhaven. <clears throat> Five doors on each side. Lord Neral's bedroom was the third on the left. She listened for the approach of any other servants, but the house remained hushed as the storm raged around them. Silent and smooth as a wraith, she moved down the hall. Lord Neral's bedroom door swung open with a slight groan. She waited until the next rumble of thunder before easing the door shut behind her. Another flash of lightning illuminated two figures sleeping in the four-poster bed. Lord Neral was no longer, or er, was no older than 35, and his wife, dark-haired and beautiful, slept soundly in his arms. What had they done to offend the king so gravely that he wanted them dead? She crept to the edge of the bed. It wasn't her place to ask questions. Her job was to obey. Her freedom depended on it. With each step toward Lord Neral, she ran through the plan again. Her sword slid off its sheath with barely a whine. She took a shuddering breath bracing herself for what would come next. Lord Neral's eyes flew open just as the king's champion raised her sword over his head. Okay, so that is chapter one of Crown of Midnight, a Thorn of Glass novel by Sarah J. Moss. Okay, if you like this content, like this video, or comment below, I would love to know your thoughts or anything that you would like to add to this. Now, don't forget to go out there and rainbow it. Flood the world with love, peace, joy, and charity. Thank you, and have a good day.